Hey guys, it's Alex here. Welcome back to another episode of Alex's Sports Season. And yes, I know none of you have been thinking this, but oh well, I've been gone for the last four days. I do apologize. It's been a busy week, but the biggest news of this week was I was or I ordered a mic on Cyber Monday. It's supposed to arrive on Wednesday. It is Thursday and it still hasn't come yet. And I was going to start making videos with the mic and I was going to wait for that mic to come. Because I think it's going to make these videos so much better. But oh well, Amazon Prime is fucking us over, so I'm sorry about that. Hopefully Friday's video will have a mic. I can't guarantee it. Then I was also looking at some ca web cameras. I saw like that new Razer one with like the LED lighting around it. That's like 100 bucks. I was thinking about maybe that too, investing in it. Because that will make our quality so much better. But I think the mic is our first step. And trust me, I think that's going to be fantastic. Can't wait to use it. But this video will hopefully be the last video without a microphone, and I hope you guys enjoy that. And hopefully you guys keep coming, enjoying the series because this will make the quality even better. But now let's just get into some of the news today. Let's start off with some NBA news and what the fuck is going on with OKC Thunder as they lose to the Orlando Magic to score of 121 to 108. Aaron Gordon did go off, drop 40 points. Westbrook also had an amazing game. But it's another loss to them. And I'm like, what the hell? This is the one thing they said before the season started. What's going to be wrong with them? And it's that the big three, every big three is planned out. Golden States, Miami's, Boston's even. Just this goal, big three just came together in fucking two weeks. And it was like, even here, Anthony said, yeah, yeah he thought he was going to go to Houston. Paul George thought he was going to go to LA soon. So it like came together really fast. And these players, like they said, there's only one ball, three stars, so how's it working? Not so well right now. But hopefully they get to back together. And, do, and let me know in the comments below, do you think it'll start working again? Or do you think they'll start clicking and it'll like, be really good, that big three? Because they have the potential to beat the Warriors, just saying. And some other NBA news, the Warriors beat the Lakers to score of 127 to 123. I will give credit where credit is due, as Lonzo Ball did have a good game. 15 points and 10 assists. He had a good game, but in overtime, Steph Curry stepped up and did beat them. But let me know what you guys think about that. I, I like the um, comments Curry made about Lonzo before the game started. Talking about if you compare the stats of Curry and Lonzo of their first 20 games as a rookie, they're not great. They're not great, so don't bash the guy. But it's his father's fault due to the fact that he hyped him up this much. So you can have arguments. I want to know what you guys think. And then call basketball. Give a shout out to Miami because they beat Minnesota to score 86-81. And really then in MLS news, Toronto FC beat the Columbus Crew to a score of 1-0 as they will be heading to MLS Cup Final once again, back-to-back -back seasons. Congratulations to them. And fantastic season by Columbus Crew. Save the crew as this might be their only one more season left in Columbus. Really fuck Pratt Court when he's done. He's been a piece of shit about it. But oh well, that's just life. But for the final story that I really want to talk about is what the hell is going on with Man City and how holy shit is Raheem Sterling fucking amazing. As again, a 96 minute winner to beat Southampton score of 2 to 1. I mean Sterling is clutch. That's this probably 6 goal. He scored in the last let's say 8 80 minutes above to help win this game or get a point for Man City. I mean they are in incredible form. They have some of the most points ever recorded at that time in Premier League history and I can't tell you that they're ever going to get stopped this season they just re-signed David Silla to a longer um, extension and oh my god they're just great I just don't know what to say about them I mean are they the best team in Europe right now and I will have to say yes I mean Real Madrid are struggling parts to parts like at time then you have Barcelona Messi's been great but they haven't been the, they've been pretty good but I think Man City's been better Napoli have been good but Man City's beating Napoli, so I can't give it to them. And do you think PSG would be able to beat Man City? I don't know. That would be a very interesting matchup, and I would love to see it. But I think it would be Man City right now because of defense, and they just had a better defense than PSG, even though they've been great. And let me know what you guys think about that. And yeah, and what the hell happened with Nathan Redmond and Pep Guardiola? I mean, he went off on that guy. And it kind of felt bad, but there has to be some reason because Guardiola don't do that. And that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you guys enjoy this. Please tag some people or like subscribe the news. Now we're going to get a mic. Hopefully next video. Thank you guys for watching and peace.